Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading Libra. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of September. All right, Libra, in regards to your finances and career with the element of Earth, you have the Four of Swords. Some of you guys taking some time off. Uh, the Four of Swords could represent having to uh, currently taking some time off, being on or taking vacation, um, pulling yourself away from job or from career. For some of you guys, it could even be like you've been laid off. Um, Others of you, it could be that you took some time off due to some type of medical condition. Um, so I do see it a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, slow in your finances or career. Now, in regards to communication for the month of September, you have the Queen of Cups. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. For others of you, it could be. Uh, reaching out to a mother figure or someone that you would consider like a mother to you to get advice uh, and it could be connected to your finances as I do have the six of pentacles here now the challenge with the six of pentacles is being cautious or being careful not to overdo for people uh, the six of pentacles is all to do with balance it talks about timing but it also represents uh, giving and receiving now, as a challenge or opposition position, um, opposition, what they're saying here is that there is a need for you to balance or to be careful with not overdoing. Um, oftentimes, we feel like we're doing people a favor by helping them out, getting them out of a difficult situation. But when does it become uh, an issue where you need to put your foot down and say, okay, you know, I, I could help you, but I can't keep saving you all the time. Uh, and sometimes being there for people and overdoing for them, often you're doing a disservice to them because you're not allowing them to really step up to their full potential. So be careful with that, Libra. And this could be with children. This could be with family members. It could be with friends that keep, you know, wanting or pastoring you about getting some type of financial help or getting some type of support from you. So be careful with that. Now, in regards to love and romance, you do have the Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you guys dealing with an Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I feel that there is some, for some of you guys, it could even represent like a relationship that kind of started, but then it stopped and then it started again. Uh, it, it's almost like it's been a roller coaster, not being able to get good footing or to be able to progress the relationship. With the Knight of Pentacles here, this is a representation of, are you willing to put in the extra work? Are you willing to grow what you're supposed to grow or mature or learn the lessons from the past in order to get you to the type of relationship that you want or the stability in a relationship that you're wanting? Uh, ultimately, what they're saying here is that the ball is in your court, Libra. Now, in regards to Spirit's advice here, we have the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is all to do with fulfillment, wish fulfillment. It also represents abundance um, or overabundance. Be careful, you guys, not to be like, you know, keep your drinking or consumption of medications on check because the Nine of Cups can also represent uh, overdoing. And when we overdo, we get to the point of it becoming a toxic behavior. Um, I'm feeling like for some of you guys using the, uh, and it could be like alcoholism, either dealing with the person that has alcohol issues or you yourself have overcame issues that has to do with alcohol addictions. Um, now it doesn't necessarily have to be alcohol. It could be like uh, food addictions. It could be drug addictions, anything like that of that nature. What spirit is saying is be cautious not to overindulge. Everything in life is about, you know, balance. And more than anything, um, I, I feel that this could be used as a form of escapism. So if you find yourself often having to deal with, like, feeling being pulled towards two different directions, um, you could potentially uh, 
create something of a habit into an addiction because you're trying to escape the reality of what you're going through so be mindful and careful with that libra now you also have here your rune card and this is to do with everything that has to do with past generations birthright um this is to do with you know long-term wealth real estate family traditions and heritage i see this more as the family dynamic and you know that of heritage and legacy so i feel that for some of you guys this message of not overdoing or you know allowing people to overstep uh i feel that you have an issue with that libra and it could be because you're very close to your family or it could be that you may feel like you be you're pulled into different directions because there is a difficulty or you find it very difficult for you to pretty much put a line on the sand uh in regards to in regards to uh letting people know that this is in regards to family and people around you um i feel that you have issues drawing the drawing the the line on the sand um when it comes to you being there for your family or being there for friends or being there for your loved ones um oftentimes when we have issues uh you know like i said allowing people to overstep we can't really be mad at them for not allowing us to live the life we want to live because you're often living the life um to accommodate them i hope that makes sense so what they're telling you here is you need to put your foot down you need to understand yes you can always be there for your friends for your family your loved ones but when it comes when it comes down to going after what you love or what you deserve or what you desire um don't make those decisions based off of what fits for your family what fits for your friends what works with your partner um if you often continue to do that you're often going to be feeling like you're being pulled into different directions like you're wanting to take one route but you feel like circumstance or situation you have to take the opposite uh, so just be careful and mindful about that libra all right i hope that this gives you guys some type of insight and guidance and we'll see each other soon bye